We have a whole network of domestic violence programs providing emergency shelter, 24-hour crisis lines, counseling, advocacy, and support, um, literally woven across the entire state of Michigan. All 83 counties have someone who provides those services. And we've also more recently added transitional housing services to assist victims of domestic violence. That's a two-year supportive housing program where either they're in, living in one of a, a unit we own or we're um, providing rental payments for um, an apartment that they seek and find and have um, put in their name. And what this does is that when you look at emergency shelter, it was set up to be a 30-day stay. And what I tell everybody is, if your house burned down tomorrow, would you be able to completely relocate and be up and running fully in a new home in 30 days? And almost everybody looks at me and says, no, they can't do that. I mean, that is impossible. There are four things that you need and that is shelter and food and clothes and transportation. The housing program is a two-year program and it's life-changing. They offer support and guidance and it was a clean environment. It was safe and comforting because we were able to leave as frightening as it was with nothing. What was available to get us started it just changed our lives forever and we're very grateful. Now we operate 14 units and then we have housing vouchers as well. And it's been a very successful program. It's allowed survivors to have that two year period where they can really make that transition and our outcomes have been phenomenal. Over the past two years of the people who've exited, three have gone to home ownership. And that's amazing. The time that I was in that transitional housing for about a year and a half, our family had shelter. We were safe. We had, we knew tomorrow we still had shelter. When I would go to bed at night, I had shelter for my children. And so I was just super thankful. Um, the transitional supportive housing that we provide is through domestic violence service providers who really know, understand, and specialize in working with the needs of victims of violence. Without the Department of Human Services funding for our transitional housing program, we wouldn't have the match funding to bring in the HUD grants that we started this program with. So they're, they're really blended together. Domestic violence is a community issue, and people think it's a women's issue, but it's a terrible, terrible travesty that affects all social, economic, gender. There's no one safe. It affects everyone of every age group. And so as a community, we can make a difference. And it takes social change. And together, we can make it go away.